What's up guys, Midwest 2 Review here back again. Well, I thought that I would go ahead and do this video um, because I'm trying to be more consistent with releasing videos, not necessarily on a scheduled format, but at least more often, get more content out there, help grow the channel. So we're working fervently trying to do that to get to the next rung of the ladder which is 6,000 subscribers. So, um, phone is gonna die, but I got it plugged up, so hopefully we can make it. Got a small tool haul today, nothing spectacular, but I thought I would share it with you. So, as you see here, we've got the old Mac pry bars. These are the ones that came out, what, about a year ago. Everybody and their grandmother had a pair or has a pair. I bought these, uh, I think they were like $30 or something to that effect. Not bad at all. Um, there's your part numbers. They got the square shanks in them. A little bit of a bend on that guy there. Um, maybe a 15 degree offset. And then a straight blade on this guy here. Okay, nice sharp tip though. I do like the fact that it comes to a nice sharp tip so you can get it in there a little bit easier. And then I bought, and I'm not gonna be able to find them because I did not prepare myself like I should have. But my buddy, John Stefanko, hooked it up for me and he got his hands on the snap-on miniature pry bars let me see here i'm trying to figure out okay i got that one too i forgot about that uh, so now i'm gonna play hell trying to dig through all of this because i did not grab it in advance and i know i've used it too but i've got uh, it sucks in there somewhere um but i've got the uh snap-on version as well and they have a round shank or a shaft or whatever you want to call it i got the straight and i got the um the bent handle or bent tip one uh, these are pretty cool these are much more heavier duty and much larger than the mac one so there's an improvement right off the off the jump i did get a small one from gear wrench i believe I'm trying to think who sent me this one. Someone sent me this one here. And I apologize, I cannot remember who it was, but this is also pretty cool. I do like, once again, how sharp it comes to that tip. It's easier to kind of wedge it in between things. Um, and then today, I picked up the ones from Matco. This is a three-piece set. There's your part number, PPG3K. Got these for like 30-some bucks off the truck. Um, don't know if that's the normal price or not. I didn't realize they were magnetized, but they are. That's pretty neat. Um, but you see there, it's got pretty aggressive angle on that guy. That's really cool. Um, once again, nice sharp tip on there so you can kind of get under something to kind of pry it. Um, and then here's another version of that. Not quite as aggressive. This is probably, um, I don't know, 45 or something like that maybe. 30, 45. And then here's another one that's straight on. Um, and these are good too. Um, I would say in terms of feel, they actually have a little bit more weight to them than the Snap-on do. Um, I'm gonna grab the right one here, it is here. So we got that one there, and then we have the Matco. They're about the same. They're not too much far off one another, um, but they feel good. I mean, they feel decent. I mean, they don't feel like they're gonna crack or break. I do like the fact that they, they have the pocket clip on there, so that's easy so that you don't lose it um but you know the true test is going to be seeing if you can really you know get it to get seals out or bearings or other little things like that make sure it doesn't um deform re uh, really easily but i got them all so i got the mac i've got the snap on i've got the gear wrench and i've got the matco so we're good on miniature pry bars i don't think we need any more of those the next thing i got picked up was this um clip um lifter here uh, this is from Matt Code. It's made in Taiwan. Oh, another thing about these. I was shocked to find out that these are USA made. I don't know who's making them for them, but they are built here and are manufactured here in the USA, which I thought, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Because I doubt that the Mac ones are, and I'm assuming the Snap-on are. You know, Snap-on obviously would, probably would be, but I don't know if the Mac ones are. Um, like I said, I got this clip lifter. 
And I thought this was done by like Mueller Kulps or whatever it's called, a company, German company. But then I looked at the package and it said they were made in Taiwan. So I'm not really sure who's making it for them. But I thought for as much as I'm tearing into my truck door panels to fix the stupid rods and the little clips that Chevy decided to use for the door handles and all of that, um, which I'm going to have to rebuild all that again here pretty soon. Um, instead of using my traditional uh, Matco ones or wherever they're at, I think they're probably probably in the Matco box. <clears throat> Let's see here. Where I mean, I can, don't get in here enough, I guess. But I probably use this guy here most often. Um, so, and I like this guy. I've had the I had two sets of these. Uh, when I sold my old box, I sold them with the box. And then, uh, obviously, when I decided to reinvest in my tool game, um, I bought another set. And then just today, like I said, I bought this guy here. I like these. I like the look of them. The finish is absolutely fantastic. The chrome is clean and clear. Um, and they have a good feel for them. And this is small enough you can just toss it in your pocket so you don't have to worry about misplacing it. Nothing like, you know, having a tool in your hand, lay it down, and then you look it around. You can't figure out what you did with it. And just that couple minutes of trying to find that tool is aggravating enough. So this is something you can just throw in your shirt pocket, your pants pocket, and there you have it. Um, then what else did we get? So, oh, we picked up uh, these um, hose cl um, clamp pliers. Um, so I got these here. I have the other style, the plastic ones that everyone basically talks bad about. I've not had terrible um, issues with these, but I know that there are obviously are some design flaws that could really be improved. And I've got a lot of these. I've got some in the Matco box. I got those in the Snap-on box, or not the Snap-on box, but the uh, Husky box. And then I picked up this set here because these are more conducive for really putting a um, a nice tight grip on something and these are going to be much better i think even cp said these this type of style um is a much better design and more effective at clamping off hoses so i picked these up they weren't very much off the truck i think like 23 bucks or something like that um, i'll verify i'll look at my receipt and then i'll probably end up buying maybe another set or two or maybe a larger one and a smaller one if i could find them on the truck so Got that. And then the last thing is we got our, our half inch drive ratchet rebuilt today. Um, Terry was uh, uh, surprised or shocked about how it failed. Uh, replaced the gear, everything, did a service on the ratchet. So she's back up and running. Hopefully we have greater success this time around than we did uh, right out the gate. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm still going to use the ratchet extensively. I have been trying to put on more mileage on the um, other Matco ratchet here. See if I can show you guys uh, the green one here. Um, I've been trying to use this one here a lot um, and really get out there and put some wear and tear on it. And uh, so far guys, it has held up nicely. I've not had any issues with the 3H drive one. And uh, I take it to the salvage yard. That's where it's gonna get us, we'll see its most amount of work. Um, you know, I'm trying to race the clock, trying to get things done. So I'm not, I'm a little less, when I'm at home, I'm more focused and I could take my time doing things. But I went out to Salvage Yard, you got everybody else working on vehicles. And like this weekend, I recorded a video. And then as soon as I, I went to get, to get more tools, and when I came back, somebody was already on the same truck that I was working on. So I couldn't do the level of detail and discussion that I wanted to have in my video and talk freely because people were there. And you know that's kind of weird anyway. So I decided to just leave the video as, as it stands maybe as I get more comfortable with filming my work, um, I'll be more comfortable just, you know, saying whatever and do it anyway. Um, but that being said, when I'm at, I'm at the salvage yard, I'm really, I'm probably working up against the clock. So I'm trying to get things broken down, taken apart. A lot, a lot of times I know how to take it apart. Sometimes I don't. So I guess my point is, is that this ratchet is going to see more wear and tear and abuse in that setting than what it will see at home. Um, but that's what I want. I want to really want to put it through the test and really give it a go uh, to see how she's going to hold up. I have faith in it. I think it's going to work out great. Um, I, I, I tell you, having the, the, the locking head feature and um, this worked out great. And I don't think that if I had used my snap on version of that, um, I would have been as impressed with what I was trying to do. I was removing a uh, alternator from my Canyon and this little feature here would have probably gotten in the way for where I was working and it was a fairly tight location. And uh, I think it would have probably gotten in the way. I'm not 100% certain of that. Um, 
but I, I believe it would have. And but, but having this this design here with it being more recessed uh, was absolutely fantastic. And I love the thickness of the head. Um, it was able to get into a tight area. So no complaints as of yet, at least on the 3H drive version. So the half inch, eh, I don't know. Um, the 3H drive working out great. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's my, my haul for today. Just a couple little things off the truck. Paid my bill. Um, what else? I got the magazine. I'll share with you guys the flyer. I'll share that with you. But, um, yeah, it's Thursday. So one more day to go for the work week. And then project weekend comes. And we're going to get back on some of our vehicles. Um, and continue doing the work that we had, played, that we had laid out. So, all right, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.